Reports of police impersonators have been popping up around the state. And now one case has shown up right here in the Wabash Valley. News 10's Hunter Petroviak has more on what you need to know to make sure you're staying safe if you get pulled over. You've most likely seen a police car and an officer before, but would you know how to spot a police impersonator? When a woman got stopped recently on US 40 in Clay County, she had a feeling something just wasn't right. He had some type of uniform on. She didn't know exactly what kind. He was possessing a flashlight. Uh, and demanded her driver's license. She was not comfortable with that after he asked her to take a breathalyzer test, so she asked for another officer. Watts says the police impersonator could have been driving a charger like this one. However, he says if you do get pulled over by an unmarked car, make sure that they have the proper red and blue lights in the windshield and maybe even the front of the car as well. If a police officer is in a fully marked police car, he can be in plain clothes and stop a violator uh, for traffic violation. If the officer in any department in Indiana, if that officer is in a plain car and he, is, he or she is wearing plain clothes, you cannot make a traffic stop uh, for routine violations. Another tool you can use is your cell phone. If an officer pulls you over and you're not comfortable, call 911. Watts says sometimes that's how they catch impersonators. If it's a plain car and the person doesn't look right, they don't act right, you don't think they're a real police officer, then we want you to dial 911 and say, hey, I'm at this location. I don't think I'm stopped by a real policeman. Making sure you stay safe in case the person pulling you over isn't the real deal. In Terre Haute with Chief Photojournalist Mike Latta, Hunter Petroviak, News 10. Sergeant Watts says they investigate one or two cases of police impersonators each year. If you know anything in this case, you're asked to call the state police post in Putnamville or the Clay County Sheriff's Office. We put information on our website.